Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Project Pan video. Today I'm going to be updating you guys on my Project Level Up Project Pan. So if you're interested in seeing the progress and which new palette we are pulling in, then keep on watching. All right, friends, it has been a hot second since I've updated this project. Specifically, I think it's been like a year. I filmed the intro last year and then I continued doing it in my spare time, but just never updated it. So here's my first official update to this project. I am going to get off my butt and actually continue to update this project. I've worked it out in my filming schedule and my panning content schedule so I can have a dedicated video to this each month. So if you haven't already watched my intro and you want to watch that one, I will link it in the description box below. However, I did roll in my first two palettes for that video and I ended up just never touching my level two palette that I rolled in. So I re-rolled that today. You're gonna see that. It's a lot of chaos. We'll start with what's important and that is what is this project it is project level up it was created by sophie alexandra here on youtube i will link her down in the description box as well she is super sweet you should go check her out but she created this unique panning project to help people get a little bit more use out of their palettes as a whole it kind of combines pan those eyeshadows with no pan left behind so for level one for example the palette that i'm going to share today my goal is to use every shade in that palette one time and to hit one pan Level two, which I'm rolling in today, is going to be using every shade in the palette two times, hitting two pans, and kind of just building upon that until I think level five is when most people reset. So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and update the palette that we rolled in for my level one palette. That is the Melt Blueprint palette right here. This is what she looks like on the outside, and then we open her up, and here is what she's looking like today. I will share with you guys the numbers that I have written down for each shade, but I'm pretty sure that I did use this palette more than that number. Go ahead and start here with the first shade, Skylight. This is a really pretty, almost like reflective white blue shade. I have down that I used Skylight two times since I rolled it into the project. And as you can see, we are starting to have a little bit of a dip towards the top of the shade. This shade is looking a lot more loved than it was in the intro. If you go and check that out, you can definitely see the difference. This second shade right here, this shimmery navy blue, this is called Deadbolt. I have down that I used Deadbolt one time. It just wasn't a shade that super interested me when I was working on this palette. The next shade is this deep navy blue matte called Dim Out. I only used Dim Out one time since my intro video, so... Not much progress there. And the last of the blue shades, this is a matte royal blue called King Stud. I also only used King Stud one time since my intro. Moving along, we have Beaming. It is this champagne metallic -y shimmer shade. As you can see, I did hit pan in this one. I have down that I used Beaming 13 times since my intro. And the reason I think that I didn't track all my uses is because I'm fairly certain this took me more than 13 uses to hit pan on. But here we have pan, so pan in my level one palette. Very proud, very proud. I use this primarily as an inner corner highlight on a pencil brush, which is why the pan is so circular, so tiny. So that is how I used beaming. Moving along, we have this bronze metallic shade called Hot Wire. I have down that I used Hot Wire three times since my intro. And this one is also looking pretty untouched. Melt just has a really dense formula to work through. So I only used these shades like two or three times and then you're not gonna look very much different from the intro, with the exception of beaming, of course, because we hit pan and beaming. The next shade is this matte chocolate brown called Hammered. I have down that I used Hammered 10 times, and I do remember that when I was working on this palette, I was considering using Hammered as the shade that I was going to hit pan on, but I used Hammered 10 times, and it still looks brand new. I decided very quickly that that was not gonna be the shade that I focused on for pan. And lastly, we have this metallic kind of rusty gold shade this is called nailed and i have down that i use nailed two times since my intro so here's the palette it's definitely looking a lot more used than it was when i rolled it into project level up i am glad that i pulled this one in as my level one palette i think it was a lot of fun and i liked that there wasn't a lot of shades there was only eight shades in here so i didn't feel very overwhelmed I felt like it was a good intro to this project. So I did go ahead and take the liberty of rolling in a new level two palette. I will include the footage of me rolling that in. I used my Tiny Decisions app that has all of my eyeshadow palettes on it. But as you can see from the footage, I rolled in my Morphe 35B palette. This is 
one of the older Morphe palettes, my oldest Morphe palette that I own. I don't even know if they still make this one. I think they rebranded it as Lisa Frank forever ago. I don't know if it's still available. And honestly, the quality of this, it is not as good as other Morphe palettes I've tried because it is so old, but I am excited that I rolled this one in nonetheless, especially now that we're in October. I feel like I can do a lot of fun, spooky Halloween looks with this palette. So because I'm on level two, my goal is going to be to use all 35 of these shades two times and hit two pans. I've never actually hit pan in a Morphe palette, so we're gonna see how that goes. I have a general idea of one shade I might wanna work on to hit pan, and that is this top white corner shade. I think that that would be super, super easy for me to hit pan on because I usually set my eyeshadow primer with a white or a nude base. So I think this white would be fairly easy to hit pan in. So I think that's gonna be one of my focus shades. And I haven't quite decided what my other focus shade is gonna be yet. We'll just have to see. There are quite a few colorful shades in here. So depending on the formula and how easy it is for me to hit pan on that white shade, I may choose to try and pan a more colorful shade that goes with some of the colorful shadows in my other panning projects. But for now, here is the 35B. I did take some nice intro photos of this palette for the project. So next month when I update you, you guys can see some side-by-sides to see how much progress I actually made on this palette but this is my level two palette. And that is all I have for today's video, my friends. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I know today was a little bit more casual, a little bit more laid back. We literally don't even have a full face of makeup on. We have the messy bun. It's just a relaxed vibe today. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you are interested in following this project along, I highly suggest hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my updates. And with that, I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye friends.